Week 3 continues here at the Gold Team Championships with World Elite's You Love taking on Lucky Futures' Zhou Lang. I think the numbers at the bottom there might be the deck list codes. They do it differently in China. But we are into game one. As you can see on the left hand side there, Warrior banned out for World Elite, which is quite unusual actually in this particular tournament. They're playing Last Hero, which means that Demon Hunter gets banned a little bit more. Warrior, in theory, being targetable by Priest. Um, but Zhou Lang has not bought a Priest. That's why he will be banning out the Warrior. Has in fact brought his own Warrior, the Secret Rogue that he is on now. And also Galakron Warlock, which is different to the Zoo Warlock we are seeing you love attempting to get a win with right now. As you may have been alerted to, this is a pre nerf deck. Warlock vanished almost off the face of the earth completely after the nerf, although Pavel did bring it to playoffs week in the European Grandmasters and went one and one with it. But as it stands, a turn two Scrap Imp is the thing you're trying to do and you love has done it. So Zhou Lang already in a position where he will be looking to get as much stuff on the board as he can before that Scrap Imp goes off. Because he will be expecting to turn after a load of really overpowered one drops, three threes, etc. to come into play. And he's going to need everything he can to be able to trade into those. Not a player I'm very familiar with, just got one result in 2019. So, good to get a first look here at Zhou Lang. You Love, on the other hand, may have been the very first player I ever cast in all of Hearthstone. I don't know that for sure, but he was in all the old Team Story events way back in 2015. And has been around ever since. Pretty much a staple of the Chinese Hearthstone scene. Wondering whether to develop anything else, but whilst it's worth thinking about, it does seem. So, this is just. I was going to say it does seem like something you wouldn't really want to do, but he's trying to challenge the board so that his next board sticks. So, at least understand that. He has, he has got the, the magic carpet ready to just start trading into things, so he felt it was okay, given that next turn is magic carpet and a one drop. To go wide here, and I can understand that decision. Jolan just generating as many lackeys as he can. Titanic's not a bad pickup, just to try and keep some of this stuff alive. Uh, one thing about playing against this zoo is if you do weather the early storm, you're usually not in too much trouble of hanging in there. But the early storm is often just brutal enough to finish you off. And here we go, it's game time. Zhou Lang adjusts himself in his seat. Now it's you love to decide how to proceed. Zhou Lang has done a good job here of at least trying to present a board that's the wrong shape for you love to deal with. Yeah, two twos on one side, two threes on the other and such like. It's it's okay, but the trouble is the big stuff's coming down now. Now, you love has to decide whether to just spam all the ones or to go for the carpet. The carpet is such a huge minion. If it doesn't get removed, you win the game. And it's hard to remove. Obviously, a blackjack stunner, along with a secret, would be something that you love would be scared of. But even then, you just play the carpet back down later on. Actually, probably not quite as easy as I first thought because it would cost five as we're pre nerf. But look at the silliness that Zoo is. And <clears throat> Zhou Lang picking up just not the right tools for the job either here. Seal Fate or Maniac. I think Seal Fate's the best plan because you get the extra lackey, which might give you a chance of. Shooting down an extra minion. You'd love to get a Kobold actually here. Just take care of the 4 1. Whew. Well, Shadow Step can do some stuff. 
Get your buffs out of the Titanic if anything actually lives to tell the tale. But this is rapidly getting away from Zhou Lang through no fault of his own. Scrap Imp is just that powerful when it's buffing your minions by so much. You can see now why the health was such a major part of the nerf. Because even this sort of strategy was not possible for the rogue to even contend. Take one health off all the minions? Maybe not so bad. Plus the carpet there, which is interesting to me, is that's already... Like, if, if the carpet remains, you win anyway, and he's trying to make it remain by making it bigger. But I'd almost feel that... No, this is fine. This this takes it out of um, Faces Corrupt range. <clears throat> and it needed to be taken out of range, it would have been removed, so that's actually fine. And Rogue now in a position where almost certainly won't be able to deal with this. Does pick up the sap and the assassinate. Yeah, nods a little bit to himself. To some degree I like to keep an eye on new players and how they look when they're playing. And Zhou Lang so far is coming across as very, very focused. We've seen that a lot from several of these players. But yeah, he doesn't seem phased out by the experience at all. So it does actually choose to remove the carpet permanently. He didn't really have any way to use the access, excess mana if he sapped. So went for the more expensive option. And then next turn maybe a shield of Galakond plus a Titanic Lackey just to hope that he doesn't die. Of course he doesn't know that this turn is going to be pretty grim for him as well. Other. <laughs> I take that back. I think he did know it was going to be pretty grim, but he's got to hope that it isn't. And Yulav not even scared to fill up on the whole board here. How very zoo of you, sir. And that looks like the end of the game. I guess you play your Shield of Galakond. Are you alive though? 6, 8, 12? No, you're not alive. There's just enough damage on board to finish this through a buffed Shield of Galakond. With that in mind, is there anything you can do if you play Devoted Maniac to give yourself one extra mana after the, the world's best lackey? I don't think so. But reaching the same conclusion as me is that you definitely can't do it with one mana. Let's see if you can do it with two. This is just playing out in case there's something you've forgotten exists, I think. Blade Flurry, obviously too late, but yeah, a reminder that there are ways to deal with things sometimes, but you love a very quick 1-0 lead. Um, gives Zhou Lang the choice of Control Warlock or Galakond Warlock. Uh, not time for the plot twist Warlocks just yet, I think they come in like a few weeks time. Or his own Warrior, but Warrior can occasionally get overrun by Zoo. I still think Warrior is favoured because of the Risky Skippers. But Galakon has so much early removal. It's going to need it. It's really going to need it, though. Because Yulav has drawn both Scrap Imps this time. To the point where he's already not sure whether to, to play the turn one Flame Imp or just to go uh, Scrap Imp crazy. Jolang had the option there to coin out a 2-4 to slow things down, but if you start doing that with Warlock, you never get the cards you need to actually run a game plan. You have to take some damage to build up your hand so that your Dark Skies and many of your other stuff is just so much better. You don't want your hands depleting. You want options and you want a large size. He has decided to split the difference on this turn, though. Uh, with the double Dark Skies, he maybe feels that seven's enough, or six is enough, sorry. Seven. It would be seven. Plus the chance it just gets doubled, because this isn't that easy to deal with. This isn't the charge version, so there's no 
abusive sergeant or bluegill warriors to help you trade into this. This is actually irritating. Note that you love didn't mess around playing the second scrap imp, going with the philosophy that one is enough. But yeah, Zhoulang's going to get some value out of his minions, only for trading, most likely. But that means he gets to save his removal spells. When your minions manage to start removing things, you are saving on removal spells, and that's a big deal. You can keep those in your back pocket for later. And it does turn out that playing this Moag on turn 2 has given Zhoulang a little bit of hope but once again this 310 carpet suddenly everything's just kind of grim can play Marg into Never the Breath to get rid of it and trade in I feel that's what you have to do that's your second Marg gone and the long term healing prospects also gone But if you don't move the carpet, I mean, it's, I guess it's not quite so important because you haven't got many minions to put in the way. But it's important enough. You've got to get rid of it. Just got to deal with it. So he's held in there okay so far. He does have the Nether Wing for next turn as well, active. So you love slowing himself down there, but looks like he's going to take the opportunity to. Oh, does he just jump the two one drops here and then soul fire out the Moag? Which then discards the hand of Gul'dan. Which means he's got stuff for the scrap imp to buff and he's got a full board. He'll have more, much, much more than six health available. That's a big deal. Just means that he's out of the range of Dark Skies. Obviously, there's Dark Skies, Coin Dark Skies available. That would be what? Six and then four? That's only ten? That wouldn't even clear the board. Yeah, Xiolang's just shakes his head there. It's like, okay. It wasn't even angry or tilty. It was just, I want to play some Hearthstone and you're not letting me. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't feel fair at this point. And it probably isn't, as you know, the card was nerfed later on. So with all that in mind, you love just needs to be careful here. You know, the the double dark skies could help clear stuff up. Poof. Not the absolute best hand available either. Expired merchants are very much a mixed blessing this deck. Sometimes they're amazing and sometimes they do give you this cluttery mess. Yulev also wants to get the maximum from the Scrap Ink next turn. That's making this really awkward for him. Doesn't really want to make these trades. It doesn't give him much damage here to face. There's a Mortal Coil available on the 3-1 this way. But pushing some more damage, asking Zholang the question again, do you have more removal? He's going to get the same answer he's been getting all game. Yes, I do. Constantly having to do the maths to see if it's worth tapping or not, but he knows he's going to be up against it next turn. So if he doesn't tap, it does seem very likely that he just can't kill the next wave of board. I wonder if he is considering coining out this shield of Galakond. The trouble is it doesn't get to apply all of its damage. So as a 4-5 being hit by a 3-1, it's not doing 4 damage, it's only doing 1 damage. So that is wasted numbers, wasted stats. 
And that might be putting him off a bit here. As this is also rate, um, wasting stuff, but you don't get give your opponent the chance to choose and trade how they want. You just kill all their things. And now it looks like the crucial two turns. How this proceeds for you, love, and how the next turn goes for Zhou Lang is the game. And Zhou Lang just may... He may be okay, actually. He's got the nether breath. But the soul fine hand for you, love, as a closer, it looks like it's going to be enough to get over the finishing line. There's going to be no time for Zhou Lang to play this Galakond anytime soon. I mean, only one or two turns, but he only has one turn, and then he's dead. You love wondering about this expired merchant. And from what I've seen of Zoo, it's almost always always right when you get this exact situation to just play it and get it over with. You know, you almost never get the other one into play. And then you have the same issue again if you do. But just look at the board you've presented. So it was only it was the main decision of the turn. Do you play it or not? And you can see the second you see it on the board, it's obvious, of course you do. Look at this. So nether breathing down a 5-4 leaves 2-5-13 on the board. At least this way he does get to go into his Galakonda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Interesting. Saving himself the soul fire, so nicely worked here. Sa I'm sorry, saving himself the soul fire or the other expired merchant, depending how you look at it. Either way, getting those three cards to keep the pain coming. Can't actually believe Zhou Lang's still here, but he is. Oh, that's the one he was looking for. This is getting out of hand, as if, as if it wasn't out of hand already, with double scrap him. The caster is claiming it is now getting out of hand. Like you're drawing cards faster than the control deck, and you're still hitting them really hard. It's kind of good for you, right? And Jolan does still have left what I believe is the meaty version of the Pain Warrior. I say I believe because one or two of the deck lists from week three are a little messed up and I do apologise for me querying over that but the site has been very good for me in general. It just seems that this one occasion a couple of the team's submissions weren't processed correctly. Because hopefully you know by now after watching 16 of these matches that I'm not scared to admit when it's my fault. Turns out when you cast a lot of Hearthstone, sometimes you say really dumb things. And you can tell I'm saying really dumb things now because I'm waiting for game number three to start. I should be paying attention in case some sort of great comeback is possible with this Kronks. But first of all, you've got to play a Galakron, and if you play a Galakron, you probably die. So, Zolan going for the buff on the Galakron and hoping he survives. But he does not. There's a soul fire in hand, your opponent's on 11. Am I missing a thing? Am I missing a thing? Is there some trickery in the card text I haven't understood here? No, Yulov just decides to kill his opponent. That does seem to be the optimal play for the turn. And he's 2-0 up. We're going to go into the third game going to be Zoo Warlock taking on Pain Warrior. And this is not much of an introduction for Zhou Lang, and I am interested to see how this works out for him. I mean, first of all, he might come back and win. Let's face it. He's got Warrior, his last hero, and but he has a priest to go through. So at this point, I'm assuming he's going to struggle. Uh, good chance in this one. I would have a good chance in this one, but you love almost looks sad to have picked up yet another scrap imp. 
because he's slightly embarrassed, I think, at this point. Let's see if Jolan can just even cope with this when you see his reaction. Yes. Yeah, fair play. He's taken that as, a, okay, this is not my day. But yes, his introduction to the big time. He has had one runner-up, I believe it is, in Gold Opens, but this is the big one. It's Team League. And he will play another match later this week, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that goes. Again, assuming he loses this, which, looking at the current board state, looking at the fact there's a Priest remaining, at the moment, I'm going to assume that he doesn't get there. But if he does, that's going to be fantastic. If he doesn't, he hasn't really yet had a chance to show off. Let's see what he's got in game number three. But also what he's got later in the week. Right, Yulov's hand turns into absolute monsters. And the thing he needs to be careful of here, and he hasn't got the carpet this time around, is getting too much wiped out by Risky Skipper. But as he hasn't yet been attacked by a weapon... It is very, very unlikely that your opponent can deal with three health. And I think it's impossible they can deal with four without the help of a Bomb Wrangler. Again, until they've started getting those attacks in. Uh, but if you do go really, really wide, you have to be aware that it probably doesn't get there. Uh, it, it probably wins you the game because of the damage you do, but the actual attack itself most likely doesn't actually get it finished. So you then have to have a follow-up. And obviously, so far this looks fine. He may be trying to manipulate this hand, which isn't that hard to do if that's his idea, where he just dumps the rest of it next turn, plays Soulfire, draws three more cards. We saw how that went in the last game. Shall I join the egg? At least I now know what he's playing for sure. Look how slow it is, though. I think the problem here is he really wants to play Risky Skipper, Bomb Wrangler, and maybe even the the Inner Rage to get a second bomb. But then he hasn't got a Risky Skipper anymore, and it doesn't kill much off, if anything. Which means he would never be able to deal with a board. So I think he's going to have to settle for the normal play, which is to buff up exactly how he's doing now and take out the minions one at a time. But that means he's not attacking with the anchor. And if you're not attacking with the anchor, you're not getting the one mana minions that you need to wipe out this board. But he is at least able to... This is a big deal if he goes on the Divine Shield... It does not. Uh, yes, yeah, so now he's going to have to ping it. But yeah, Zhoulang is obviously hanging in there. But he's never going to have the time to anchor and start risky skippering with all the stuff that is coming from the other side of the board. And there's still this soul fire and draw a load of cards to come. And I think we're just going to see that. Because 4 and 5 health is so much harder to deal with for a skipper. Yulov just trying to work out if he wants... Yeah, where he wants this. I think this is the right place. And that's either GG or sorry. Either would be pretty much acceptable here. And Zhou Lang, all he does is laugh. Like, what on earth else can you do to this utter, utter nonsense? This is the power of Zoo at the time it was played. And it does this remarkably often. It's not like he's been some sort of high roller or something. He brought this deck to do this job. And sure, he's had a, a good day with it. But if you bring this deck, this is what you're hoping for. Put his last hero, so he could have queued it into appropriate matchups where he didn't necessarily need to high roll. And again, I'll be looking for... See how Jolan gets on later in the week. But World Elite, they started off 0 and 3. And have now won two matches in a row to get back into this. I think Lucky Future started off really, really well. And have started to slip down. Let me have a quick look through 
my notes. Eh, actually, no, they were 1-2, two, 2-2. Two, two. It's just been steady wins and losses, pretty much alternating for them. Not quite lethal here. But near enough. Some sort of skipper, Armorsmith, crazy next turn if Zhou Lang lives is possible, I guess. And that's why Yu loves taking his time. He's not trying to torture his opponent. Um, not like the last game where the Soulfire was not forthcoming. This is just about making sure he wins. Just being professional. Because there are things that can happen. Although not really looking like it. But this meta does have weird comeback mechanisms. Not available there though. You can try and set up as many bombs as you want, but you have to kill everything. Can get the brute down. I'm going to go with yes, although I haven't calculated it. I'm pretty sure the brute can come down. But you have to kill every single thing. Because to start with, I think every play goes swing into the 1 3 just to generate the minion. Yeah, and he's as sure as me. Which isn't very. These Divine Shields are making the Brute Mouth a little bit more messy than usual. Also, the fact you've got to play two skippers. You don't want to kill too many minions so that your Brute can't come in and swing. But obviously, you need to kill all the minions when you play the Brute. So, he needs to do five shots. He's running out of time as well. Okay. He's got it done. He did work it out and the game is not over. I thought that might be there, but fair play to him for calculating it at the time. I certainly couldn't. I might have got lucky and played it in that order because that's the order that looked correct. But Zhou Lang actually worked that out. And that's good, good quality play under pressure for the young man. He could easily have just given this one up straight away. Because nobody would have criticised him for saying, what was I supposed to do there? But yeah, making you love kill him. It's like, okay, great, you've done all this nonsense. I'm now going to hang in there and try and draw Armorsmith and uh, another skipper. I've drawn both skippers. Okay, that makes it hard, but whatever. Find some taunt minions. Something can happen. Got another randomly generated pirate to come. <laughs> Let's face it. I'm trying to make this sound like he's got a chance. I'm not sure he has. But certainly the way Yulov's hand works out, he's at least irritated here. I'd definitely be blowing this weapon up if I was him. Yeah, and it's like, okay, you've used your skipper. <laughs> yeah, it's like, really? You've had everything go your way the whole game and now you blow my weapon up as well? Did you have to do that? And this time, there's no sensible way out. Live wire lance to the face. There's nothing else. Oh, you can, you can take out the one too. Get a lackey that generates spells and generate... something that does two damage to each minion I guess it's still possible now I don't think it is you've got to turn your bomb wrangler into something that has six points of taunt not quite he gives it up but he's got a nice smile on his face he's taking it well but first time we have seen you love this time around and looking strong Although lots of scrap imps may be deceptive. See you again very soon. Take care.